had Indy now three years? Or four years. Or four years. <laughs> I was rostered on to work in our isolation ward one day and that's when I met Indy. She was just a little fluff ball. She looked like she was a little bit underweight when I first met her and she was showing signs of cat flu. We are bringing Indy back today to the RSPCA to meet her vet nurse that cared for her while she was here. Oh, look at you. Hello, gorgeous girl. Someone said to me, the you don't choose the cat, the cat will choose you. So just me and the kids came up and we went in and she was the first little cat to come to us. Oh my gosh. When we first brought Indy home, she was pretty quiet and pretty timid and she kind of just hid in the back room for a little bit, but now that she's been home for a while, she kind of runs the house, so. You know she's around and you know when her food bowl's empty, that's for sure. <laughs> she lets you know. <laughs> yeah. The boys were great with her. They were quite caring when she first came home and yeah, took the time with her, so weren't too boisterous. So. I almost patted her for a whole day. I just feel really pleased to be able to help little kittens like Indy when they're so little and so vulnerable and so tiny to see them start to get better and go off to a foster home and hopefully into a lovely caring home. Grown up to be a beautiful girl. I think she's brought a lot of happiness to us. What do you like about Indy? I like cuddling her and carrying her. I like cuddling her and patting her. <laughs> 